now, back with us is our dog trainer, Kelly McFarlane, and you've been having some fun in Fiji swimming with sharks, not dogs this time. That's true, yes. So what was that like, <laughs> big sharks, little sharks? Uh, reef sharks. It was scary enough for me, but um, I've done it now. Ticked it. Done. But the reef sharks <laughs> generally don't eat you, do they? Supposedly they don't, no, but they certainly swim very close to you. Yep. A shark's a shark. Very inquisitive. Not all fun and games, though. You went to visit an animal sh shelter, didn't you? I did, yeah. I visited Animals Fiji. Right, and you've yep. got a video here that you've taken. Let's take a look at it. My fabulous camera work. Right, so talk us through this. What's, so this is what's the, happening? Yeah, this is the team at Animals Fiji. These are a couple of the um, very cute puppies up for adoption. They are um, so they tend to do a lot of um, desexing programs. Right. To prevent, obviously, lots of puppies. There's one of the cute kittens. Was there lots of, which was the most, uh, lots of dogs, lots of cats? There was a lot of dogs, yeah, lots of puppies. Yeah. Okay. Was there a lot of animals after the site with the big cyclone in uh, February, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. A lot of homeless yeah. pets after that. Yeah, there was quite a few issues with that. So um, certainly the team of Animals Fiji, they've got clinics set up throughout um, Fiji itself. So they were able to help lots of different people in, in different villages, which is great. Was there a lot of damage around? There was certainly a lot of damage. And um, one of the ladies who works at Animals Fiji, she was um, in a auntie's house in the village and it actually collapsed on top of them. Gosh, so, that would yeah, have been terrifying. Yeah, it was very terrifying. And these her. circumstances too, people often think of, the, obviously they think of the humanity, but not the animals necessarily. That's right, yeah, yeah. So okay. it, was, it was really good just to go, have a really good look around, see what they do, and they work very, very hard. Uh, the team's fantastic, you know, and certainly getting out into the community and, and, and certainly doing a lot of education as well around how to look after your pets. They have a lot of issues with poisoning of dogs over there. What yeah. people to say they don't want the wild dogs around so they just poison them? Uh, no, more for barking issues. Really? Yeah, yeah. So fortunately we're not at that extreme over here, but um, yes. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> uh, well, it looks like a fascinating time that you had there. Yeah. Uh, and if you would like to help out and give a donation to the shelter, you can head along to our website where there is also extended footage of Callie's visit as well. Now to our pet of the week. Now our pet of the week this week is Diesel. Thanks to Porcelina Spring, a $50 oh, canine so natural gift pack will be on its way to you. Look <laughs> at that dog. Look at that face. Oh, no. you, just, you couldn't even de deny that face anything, could you? Uh, just simply head to our Facebook page, load a photo of your pet to our Facebook page and you have a chance to win as well. Hey, thank you so much for coming in today, Kelly. Thank your holiday you. looked great and also very educational as well. And once again, if you want to see that extended footage, you can go to our website, thecafe.co.nz.